coming out um, about Brian Koberger, about trying to prove this man's innocence. And here is an article that I found on Reddit. Going into this article, it says, don't give your DNA to databases and don't give your number to law enforcement if they pull you over. Okay, well, if you're a criminal, maybe those are the things you don't want to do. Um, at the end of the day, to say that it's our fault for taking a test with DNA, uh, with a genealogy site, and, you know, God forbid you get pulled over. Don't cooperate with law enforcement. That is such a better messaging for the public than just saying, hey, let's not go and murder four innocent people in their home while they are trying to sleep. Let's just not give law enforcement our phone numbers and don't check your genealogy because if you commit a crime, they might get you through the genealogy database. Give me a And not only that, but do you realize that there are so many people that don't even know that they're related that are getting these genealogy tests? It still would have traced back to Brian Koberger. At the end of the day, uh, watching the Alec Murdoch trial, we learned a lot. We learned a lot about um, cell phone towers, how phones work and function, and more importantly, on star data in the black box in our car and how those items help convict people.